is my understanding of the current law that would be applicable in this particular case. As the judge announced his fate, Ernesto Rivas showed zero emotion, as he's done throughout this case. Rivas shot beloved Mountain Vernon police officer Mike McClory in the head at Christmas time of 2016, leaving him blind. McClory was in the courtroom for today's sentencing and hopes the message sent is clear. They're going to get caught. One way or the other, they're going to pay for it, whether they pay for it through the criminal justice system or in another way. Trust me on that one. There's other ways that you can pay for this and you don't want to go there either. McClory was investigating a separate gang shooting when Rivas shot him. He's made a remarkable recovery from a shot in the head that doctors believed would kill him, learning to do just about everything all over again. He lost his eyesight, but never his good nature and says his eyesight is slowly coming back. Well, I can tell your hair is blowing all over the place. <laughs> and, um, you know, if I get out there far enough, you know, where I can see leaves blowing around or like the other day we were driving along and I could see birds flying off of power lines. So you never know. <laughs> When he shot Officer McClory in the head, Ernesto Rivas actually should have been in prison for a third strike committed back in the 1990s, but he was able to strike a plea deal in that case. When asked about that today, Officer McClory said he didn't really have a comment. He says he, re he prefers to focus on the positive. In Mount Vernon tonight, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.